And welcome to part 5, where we continue messing with the fridge! Uh, that's interesting. Over there. He'd notice if I took it, and he's bigger than me. When I am done with Naranja here, I am going to tattoo big floppy ears on the side of your head so people will know what a jackass you are. Yes, that may be true. That may be true. On the side of your head, so people will know what a jackass you are. Indeed. Hmm. Ah, him. Can't really do anything just yet. So, in the meantime, I believe we're gonna go back to. Uh, Calabar Calabara Cafe. Casino. Can't tell you how many times I went. I use this. It's closed. Was that raven sitting there? Lola, Lola, where are you? Like Lupe's been in the sugar again. <laughs> Evening, Lupe. Hi, Mary. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me. Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes. But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who could do that? They messed up my whole system! <laughs> you okay there, Lupe? Looks like Lupe's been in the sugar again. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Mary. Okay, back to work. <laughs> okay! <laughs> hmm. I guess Gladys is good at anything that uses keys. I 
just had a run-in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Meche. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. thrill-seeking rich folk with a poor grasp of statistics and probability. <laughs> Not while they're losing. Hey, Chow Chilla! Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. Hey, Chow Chilla! I've got a question Manny. for you. Chow Chilla? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? <laughs> can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Meximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe <laughs> somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Nice. Le numéro gagnant, le zéro, père et manque. Zéro. Mid the honest roulette croupier is hard please to find. Place your bets. And guys like this, even harder. <laughs> Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff Chilla. New mission going to the higher to the high rollers lounge. There we go, yeah. Ways faster. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder if Olivia has gone from that doorway yet. Probably not. E. E. Pass with the High Rollers Lounge that Chow Chilla Charlie gave me. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely better not show it to him. Yet. <laughs> Great. 
Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. <laughs> demon mystery meat. Mmm, smells good. But I'd rather eat my own arm. Wet foods for winners. I don't want to mess up my blade. Okay. It's open now. Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Lemans. Once a small-time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Lemans, Manuel. And be careful. H.L. <laughs> Hector Lemans. I don't really want to do that. Maybe not, but uh, yeah, it's open now. For your own safety. Where'd old Sarpus go? <laughs> Anybody there? I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday! <laughs> well, fine, Mr. Sourpuss. Most time, no more bats. Where did that little happy guy get off to? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye! <laughs> Please keep off the track. Man, those cats sound angry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Monsieur, but here's my pass, Jean Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. We, oui, Monsieur. <laughs> But actually, my name is Raul. My name is Raul. Sweet. Oh. Interesting, interesting. Need to get down there. Looks like the pantry. Looks like the pantry. Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. Yeah. I don't need any cat meat. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. I don't need any cat meat. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. Cat meat. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. Oh, yeah. Somehow. Okay, there we go. Baster. 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 Looks like a turkey baster. I'll just take this for safekeeping. This cask is sealed on the top, too. There's no opening up here. Yet. But. Eh. But, you know, we won't do that just yet. We'll just walk over here for a minute.
That must be the elevator to the vault. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be back here. Busy as ever, I see. <laughs> Busy as ever, I see. Hmm. <laughs> Maximino. Anything over this way? No. No. Nothing. That Nick sure gets around. Nick. <laughs> Nick Virago. What are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. <laughs> I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. Ooh. Um. Very nice key. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Okay, sure. She got sprouted, didn't she? Lola. Hmm. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes. They keep themselves pretty clean. <laughs> I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too. But they keep the lights on around here. <laughs> Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No. That puss-eyed puss is going to lose, but nobody knows, and I'm going to make him mint. <laughs> Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. <laughs> we just need someone for the doggy put the door of the club. So it's clearly going roulette tables are fixed. We start a class action suit. Lots of money involved. Actually, I'm trying to adopt cats. I'm starting a class action suit. Lots of money involved. Who are you deep pocketing? What's the difference to you? They're loaded. So will <laughs> you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? <laughs> Any mouth voice will do. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? <laughs> no. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are. <laughs> the best lawyer would be a dead lawyer. Uh, diaper games for Rago. I don't really need one. Uh... Well, the best lawyer would have to be a dead lawyer. Well, that narrows it down to just about everybody here in the land of the dead. Come back when you know more about what you want. And by the way, Manny, lawyer jokes, not funny. <laughs> lawyer jokes, not funny. It's Virago's cigarette case. Nah, he'd see me do it. <laughs> Boy, that Nick sure gets around. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we talk to him again. Okay, so this lawyer, his mother, and a chicken are all in this lifeboat scene. They're getting hungry, and the chicken says, I have a gun, Manuel. I have a gun, Manuel. <laughs> Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? <laughs> Someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. But your roulette tables are fixed. Exactly. That's why I need a lawyer. I'll ask you again. 
So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Any mouthpiece will do. Then may I suggest you try the yellow pages? How's tricks, Nick? Nah. <laughs> Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to adopt Gladys. Manny, that demon is over 2,000 years older than you. Not up here, he ain't. He needs guidance. <laughs> I'll ask you again. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? <laughs> an excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? What does it matter as long as they're excellent? It matters if the guy you're up against has got the best. Then I guess I'll need the best. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? <laughs> I don't have time for games, Virago. Neither do I. So come back when you're ready to be serious. <laughs> How's tricks, Nick? Nah. <laughs> Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? No, we just need someone for the dunking booth over at the club. Funny guy. <laughs> but I'll seriously. How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Actually, let me guess. You just want a lawyer for the status, am I right? <laughs> Which is the same reason Max wants one. But you see, he can afford it. <laughs> How's the tricks, Nick? Nah. <laughs> Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Actually, let me guess. You just want a lawyer for the status, am I right? Which is the same reason Max wants one. But you see, he can afford it. Boy, that Nick sure gets around. I'll just go away for a minute, you know. He will be stuck staring into the abyss for the rest of his life. Which is more, which is pretty suited for him. Oh, hi! You know, you know, you know, I'm just gonna back out. I don't need to go in there. I don't need to go, uh, like, not yet. Not yet. We don't need to go talk to that guy yet. Where is the exit? Where did it go? I thought that was the exit. I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I was Hector Lemez's office. We don't need to talk to him just yet. I'd better not open it when it's full. That could spill a lot of juice. I got a hunch the wine comes out here. Oops. What are you doing? I wanted some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here. Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. Sure. I told you to stay out of here. <laughs> I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
can just mess around with it. I told you to stay out of here. I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Probably knock something down in here. I don't need any cat meat. The can opener wouldn't work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. Hmm. <laughs> Not here. Well, anyway, we got the turkey bister, so we're gonna go back to. Well, let's go up here for a second. Then we're gonna go back to the blue casket. Still there. Perf. But we have a turkey booster now, so turkey booster. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum, and our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special agent status. I, Salvador <laughs> Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance. Salute you, Manuel Calavera. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. Hmm. Let's show those to those cats. <laughs> to those cats over here. Great news. We've discovered a new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, yeah. Eva has made them all little berets. I'll send you some pictures. <laughs> Manuel. I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. It's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay, but I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It is not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel, for you are in grave danger. Somehow rumor has spread on the streets of El Marro of your presence in Rubacaba. If this information reaches Hector Lamans, he surely will send his evil operatives after you. You must give up your search for Mercedes for the time being. And please, be out of Rubacaba on the next ship. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little, but I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. <laughs> Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. <laughs> Yoink. Mine now. 
It's a turkey baster full of dirty hookah water. And I know just what to do with it. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend? Salvador Limones. Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. <laughs> Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... <laughs> Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Labor organization and revolt made easy. <laughs> Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Crazy. So, uh, what did you think of the poem? I liked it. It was sad and beautiful, like my mother. I despised it. It was too short. It said nothing to me, like my father. I had no feelings about it. It was aloof and licked itself too much, like my cat, Mr. Trotsky. <laughs> We'll do one quick poem, then we'll leave. Looks like it's open mic night. Testing, testing. I'd like to read another poem. Hurting. Nothing. The phone is for you. The center. Bones, bones, bones. Pointlessness. Unify. Rectify. Absolution. Scooby da. Eruption. And what's worse? Falling! Falling! Wholeness. Sing it, sister. <laughs> I am not dead. You rush. Oh, yeah. The lie. I am sick, and in so being, I am the healthy one. The end. We hear you, Daddy. Nice. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? We hear you, Daddy. <laughs> Blue casket. Half. Got the same ring. Eee. Let me go over here. Let me go. Here we go. Hey guys. Guess what I have. Hey Terry, I got a gift for you. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one: The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. 
Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one, the workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. Uh, I know it's for Carrie, but I am just morbidly curious. But first, I need Gladys to sing Rusty Anchor. I know I gotta show that to Terry, but oh, I am just morbidly curious. Because I don't think I've ever actually shown him that. That Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. <laughs> you should see his wife. Velasco! Has, uh, Naranja checked in yet? Uh, no, but the boy's never missed a boat yet. I'd better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. Well, we could do one thing. For you, it'll sure to knock your socks off. <laughs> Just get it, you know, open this. Your boy Naranya here. Am I here? Well, he's sober up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. He'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. Are you kidding me? Let's see what you got on you, huh, sailor? I gave him the idea in first place. Third class. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up. Ah, Tiger to work can't in the change his stripes. I already searched it pretty thoroughly. So doesn't still look going? like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. <laughs> hey, listen to me. You have got to take care of That's yourself. One old fridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that would shed any light on things. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a little cabinet. Sure. It's empty. Ah, hang on a second. Yeah, I got to remember to get more liquid nitrogen from morgue. Liquid nitrogen? Freeze the bones, less painful that way. Sure, of course, I understand. <laughs> Definitely. It's empty. It's a little cabinet. Liquid nitrogen, mm -hmm. eh? Mm -hmm. I think these are binders of tattoo designs. You said They're that. They're nautical and nice. And a third one just says Anchormania. It's Toto Santos, Santos Rubacava's friendly scrimshaw artist. Hm. Yeah, but I wouldn't exactly call that quality time. Hey, Velasco! <laughs> Man, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? So, what happened after dinner? Hm. 
Seaman and Selmo Naranja Ensign Third Class. <laughs> the last go. That Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. <laughs> you should see his wife. <laughs> Has uh, Naranja checked in yet? No, but Toto Santos called. Said he's passed out at his place. So he's in no shape to sail, right? And he's out cold, but not that cold. <laughs> I'd better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. I don't really want to do that. Give me that Could show the book to Gladys and see what happens, but like, <sighs> well, I know the one thing that'll leave us post <laughs> going to the uh, VIP lounge. Has the lady gone yet? Probably not. Probably not. Suppose we could duck back to Hector Le Mans. Find out what is he up to. No, 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 And go away from there. No. This way. Here we go. Yeah. I have an idea. Ah, Marillo de Oro, a very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. <laughs> Uh, maybe just a sip. <sighs> so 
Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Sure thing. Oops. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. <laughs> and of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? Actually, figs are a personal favorite. They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh. Never a big fan of prunes. Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I Hedwig, remember one that's time an back when I was name. six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I ah, had to be six, six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. <laughs> now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a, a sweet little once. puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, yeah? but he'd still What's try that? to bark. <laughs> and it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often I did. I he had, had such hair long balls. hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired no, cats. No, they're harder to pick out of the grill. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, they're harder to pick out of the grill. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through yes, high school. Seem shy. I never went to a single day. Can you believe it? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but I just run away. My mom said Running I could have away. been homecoming queen if I just right smile now. once in a while. <laughs> she always said, a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to oh, smile wow. when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled uh, more, yeah. daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, Yikes. me, daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. I'm Rufus, and I'd be wearing my homecoming queen that crown, and I need to call eating my figs, and, <laughs> and, and I'd go, mother! <laughs> and? I'm so sorry! Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Don't cry. Now, now. Oh. Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? No way. Oh, okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry in town was <laughs> figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I that in your store. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked Actually, dates more. Actually, figs are a personal favorite. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great never a texture. Big fan of prunes. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh. <laughs> Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting Hedwig, things. that's an interesting name. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. Probably I had to be seven. six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. <laughs> he was such a sweet little puppy. I'll we bet. didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still <laughs> try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball. It's not that bad. Which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, Ooh, do you, Manny? Ick. They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They you seem less like? stuck up. Metal detectors. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Oh, I'm sure. I'm here for the company. <laughs> Actually, I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. <laughs> 
these lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. Crack open walnuts, huh? They're locked. They're lockers. Looks like the detector flew into one of the cat stables. Things do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, Carla. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? <laughs> hey, Carla. I've got to get one of these things from my office. It's locked. Carla. <laughs> Definitely will be back. And I know Bye, the Carla. reason. Drop dead! <laughs> but I'm already dead. Things do look bad, but the jump unfortunately wouldn't help. Well. That's the hole I saw Carlos metal detector fall through. Oh no. Mmm, yeah. smells good. But I'd rather eat my own arm. Yep. See? This is why I don't have a pet. Well, you gotta mess it up. Aha! Stinky, but it could be worse. I'll go give this to Membrio. Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. <laughs> Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. <laughs> you never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd hate to end up like this. Then take my advice. Buy an ID bracelet and wear it always. Wouldn't match my cufflinks. I think Membrio could really use a nice tropical vacation. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors.
And I just thought of what I could do with this. Toss! like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even <laughs> take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Oof. Hey, Velasco! <laughs> Velasco! What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job is yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. Uh, about that union card, Manny. I have one. I just left it in my other coat. Now don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. <laughs> that Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. Uh, you should see his wife. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to sail. Uh, about that union card, Manny. I have one. I just left it in my other coat. Now don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. <laughs> and I think that's a good place to cut it until the next part, which I'm probably going to be doing, like, right now. <laughs> See you in the next part. Bye-bye.